Hello, it's Jenny Kovacs here from Gift Wish, and um, I thought following the gorgeously beautiful people that attended the live Visibility Vibe VIP Day in London, I would continue the momentum and share with you just a few of the tips that I shared with them on the day, and also there's some more juicy stuff to come. So, forgive the shakiness of this camera, I'm in a little secret library deep in the heart of Surrey in the UK and you can just see in the background there if I swing it round, how cool is that? We're about to have a collection of global winning women um, that are going to have a meeting with us here in a couple of hours. So as I prepared the room, I was thinking about a conversation that I had with um, one of my clients recently who um, came back from America. So. This video is inspired for you. So let me tell you what this video is about. This video is all about conserving your energy. Now, I know that as many of you start to step up, move forward in your business, that you're attending events, not only throughout the UK now, but worldwide. So this isn't something that I've shouted about myself, but for most of you that have been um, part of my tribe, part of my Facebook family, and part of my social media family, you'll see that although um, we're only the fourth month into the year, I have already been um, to the US twice. And in the last year, I've probably been to the US about three times, I've been to Ecuador, I've flown and you know, trained, planed and automobiled everywhere. So this is for you, if you have been traveling or you're aspiring to travel and get yourself out there and get yourself visible internationally, so forgive me while I pick up my um, tablet of choice and just read some of the tips that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share three tips that helps you to save your energy um, and to get back in the groove when you're traveling. So this is going to sound really bizarre, but trust me, when I've been carrying suitcases, wheeling bags or wheeling suitcases and carrying bags through very busy airports, busy train concourses, let's take London Victoria for example. There's a part where I get off my train and I have to walk straight across the concourse to be able to get onto the underground and then ultimately get on the tube to ultimately get to the airport. But what's my point? My point is, are you ever in very large open spaces where you know that you want to get from A to B and you end up kind of doing the dance like this, all shaky like the camera's going now, because you're trying to weave your way through the crowd. So here's tip number one. Look in the direction that you're going to, not in front of you, not just a few feet ahead, but the absolute direction that you're going to. Keep staring at that space and just walk. Something really amazing happens, a bit like when you're riding a motorbike, but I'll come on to that in a second. When you fix your stare in the direction that you want to go to and just walk towards it, no one bumps into you, you don't trip over any buggy wheels, you don't trip over other people's suitcases, you are able to walk in a straight line and get from A to B without bumping into anybody, knocking into anybody don't believe me try it try it out look exactly where you want to go in the distance fix your stare on that distance a bit like this and then walk towards it now that might not seem like a tip but it is a tip it'll get you through the busiest of airports and concourses with minor collision so that was the first tip now the second traveling tip which also actually saves you energy and patience and this helps to stave off jet lag. Here's what I do and here's what I've been doing in the last like 18 months or so since I've been traveling internationally on business. So start with the country that you're in and the time zone that you're in. Eat your meals, your breakfast, your lunch and your dinner, even if you sometimes are naughty and skip lunch or breakfast, ensure that you have a meal, breakfast, lunch and dinner and eat it at that time zone. Once you get on the plane, set your watches and your phones if possible and get into the time zone of the country that you're landing in. Once you're in that country, to get into the time zone really quickly, even if you feel tired. So let's say, for example, recently I flew out to San Diego and I flew out and I landed there at eight o'clock in the evening. 
I got to my hotel. I ordered some dinner, even I think I had a light soup and some bread and a drink of water and then I went to bed at bedtime, at my usual bedtime. The strange thing about doing this is, is that it almost like sets your body clock into the time and the zone of the country that you're in. I got up the next morning, I had breakfast. Now if you've got a day or two before your event or conference or whatever you're doing starts, don't be tempted to take a nap. This will completely throw your body clock out and make you feel even more tired than before. So if you're landing there at eight o'clock in the morning, make sure you have breakfast as soon as you get to your destination. And you do the same thing on the way back. So get on the plane at whatever time zone you're in. Now I find it helpful that if I'm coming back, for example, from America, and I get on the plane at three o'clock or five o'clock in the afternoon, I look at my watch to see what time it's going to be in my destination, so the UK for example. I will then set my clock or my watch to the UK time. So if it's the middle of the night, guess what? I don't eat anything. Even the lovely delicious food that they bring round for you on the plane, don't eat it because in the middle of the night in the UK you wouldn't eat, would you? So I go to sleep. I've even been known to put my hood of my coat over my face. I'll go to sleep and when I get to the other side, it's breakfast time. So guess what I'll do? As soon as I get off the plane, I'll have some breakfast and I'll make sure that I stay awake, even if I'm feeling tired. I'll stay awake, I'll get myself a lovely, nutritious, delicious lunch. Normally a salad is really great after you've been flying. And then I'll make sure that I have dinner and I won't go to bed until night time, even if it's like a little bit earlier than I normally would. That's the single best way I know to stave off jet lag. So this has been a longer video than I anticipated, but I really hope it helps you for your next trip. So first thing is walk in a busy place, fix your stair to the end direction of where you're going to, so your destination and walk towards it, which is the same thing you do on a motorcycle, by the way. If you're turning a corner, you look at where you want to go. And also one could say it's a metaphor for life, Keep your eye fixed on your destination and keep traveling in that direction. And the second tip I shared with you was to stave off jet lag. Get into the time zone of the country that you're in as soon as you're in it. So the place that you're leaving from, you'll have your breakfast, lunch, dinner at the relevant times. On the flight, you'll then set all your watches and your body clock to the time of your destination and you'll do the same breakfast, lunch and dinner. Even if you don't feel hungry, just grab yourself a little snack so that you get into that time zone as soon as possible. I have done this and I've virtually, I ha I've had one lot of jet lag because I broke the rule and went for a nap in the day in the last 18 months. So try it. And just below, let me know how you get on. But if you like this and other energy saving, time saving, visibility tips and videos, just click subscribe. Persuade a friend, get them to click too. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.